Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. And um, let's go into Chandelar. Let's do it. I think today I want to free a village. There we go. Do you hear that sound? I want to free a village, right? And I want to go into the ruins of Suchan once more. Whenever I say Suchan, I want to say Suchi, but I try not to. Anyway, uh, but before I jump in, first a quick message from the sponsor of Season 2, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and we are back and ready to jump in. Let's do a load saved game. Timmy goes green. Here we go, people. Okay, check it out. Um, so this is the village that's taken, Andor's Hole. So we're first gonna go to Andor's Hole and then we're gonna go into the ruins of Suchan. Let's see, contains small red creatures, no artifacts allowed, life loss carried over, or or flame effect. So I've been in this um, dungeon once before, and then I went with Mono Green for the first deck. Let's see, now I've got this other deck, are there any cards that I want to take out? Maybe put in a stream of life. So we're living artifacts in here, which is pretty cool. I mean, even Artifact is live gain. I kind of feel like there's no Sylvan, which is good. I think you're going to take out the City of Brass, to be honest. Ooh, I've got one slot open. That's interesting. You know what? Let's leave City of Brass. Manas are important, but I am going to board in. Let's do... Do I have Tranquility in here? Stream of life to have some life gain. Stream of life, let's add two of those. Um, what can I take out? It's always hard to take cards out, right? What I want to put in is easy. Maybe, well, Lure could be really good with all the smaller creatures. Living Artifact is nice. Maybe take Living Artifact still out for a second stream of life. Maybe take out a Living Wolf for Tranquility. I'd rather play just with two tranquilities to be honest, but then I'm at 62. How many lands I have? 16, 20, 21, 22, 24 lands. Actually, pretty good. You need, you need that. Two untamed wild, a giant growth that will crumble. I guess I could take out the winter blast, because I'm not expecting a lot of flying creatures. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like this. I have faith. Ooh, I can get a mana link. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna get. I'll get the mana link later. But I, I'm now focused on freeing the village and then get into the um, into the dungeon. Let's free the village first. Oh, accept tribute. Sure. Um, two blue jewels. Sunday here by the way like it's um we got blue sky so I'm after this I'm going out people first coffee and chandelier um let's see start the duel oh he's got carry lance that is not great that is not great Whoa. okay let's have a look what do I have Mishra's factory stream of life mountain trike fireball forest giant spider okay so hopefully I can go factory the mountain and fireball yes. Yeah, so let's do factory pass turn. Probably have to take some more damage. Hopefully he puts in like both mana here. Or none and plays something out. That would be fine too. As long as he just taps the mana, because then I can fireball the ants next turn. Okay, yeah, this is nice. Um let's go Taiga and now I'm gonna fireball. 
Tap one, okay. I mean, carry it as a want to just deal with straight away because it can really get yeah. Especially in Chandelar. There's the attack. Oh. Mm. Let's see, what can I do? Nothing really. I mean, I want to use my factory as a blocker for the drudge. So I don't take any more damage, because remember, life loss is carried over, so... Or, actually, I'm not in the dungeon yet, so that doesn't matter. Um, let's change to assembly. So in that case, maybe I should block with it. I mean, attack with it. Anyway, now I'm going to block with it. And generate. Um, let's do another forest. Okay, I can play Tome or Giant Spider, so I'm just going to go for Giant Spider. Giant Spider can block the drudge for days, so that's kind of solved. That problem is solved. Oh, there's a new problem, Sarah Angel. Um, but I have a cockatrice that I cannot play out, though. Oh, this is annoying. Um, I'm gonna go for Toe. This is annoying. Oh, there's a That is also annoying. Okay, at least I got a forest. So now I can play the cockatrice. That could be a good blocker. Fast to turn. We could be in for a long battle here. Oh, unholy stuff. At least he's not putting it on the uh, on the Sarah. Oh, but this castle pestilence quite nice synergy actually. Uh, what can I do here? I'm gonna go thicket, I think, and then start attacking next turn. I can actually attack now already. Let's go thicket. I'm kind of tempted to attack with the cockatrice right now. I mean, there's no rush though. Let's just pass. Let's pass. I mean, he can kill my whole board. He can just pestilence for... Oh, no, he doesn't have enough black. Only has two black mana. Okay, so that's kind of a saving me at the moment. Lord of Faith. Another pestilence. Sure. Okay, library. Library is, library is good in combination here. Um, so if I want to go for the library plan, I should just save up. Draw an extra card, go to six. Then next turn, I can have the library. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to go for the library plan. I'm just going to pass turn. Yeah, this is going to be... This is already is, but this is an interesting game. I love how that Osai Vultures it can maybe have good synergy with Pestilence. I think that's so cool. Uh, let's activate. Done. Draw a card. Okay, I've got Giant Grove. That's pretty useful. Okay, so now I've got card 7. So now I'm going to drop the Loa. Um, yeah, I could go up to 7, then draw an extra card. But do I want to do that now? Um... You know what I'll do? I'll go up to seven. I'll attack with Cockatrice. Let's let's see what he does. Oh, he's not gonna block. Okay, sure, don't block. Um, then I'm gonna pass turn. It's a bit annoying because if he attacks with the Sarah, I think the Sarah remains a 4-6 because it's not tapping. So that means it's going to be tough to block. Even if I put a Giant Grove on the Giant Spider, I'm not going to be able to kill. Oh, he's not doing anything. Okay, that's good. Um, let's draw a card with Loa. Oh, this lure is epic. This lure is going to be so good. You know what we're going to do, people? Um... Let's take our time for this turn. I'm going to go Lure on Thicket. Let's 
Let's do that first. One, two, three. Lure and Thicket. And yes, I know he can regenerate the Drudge, but the rest will die. Um, then I'm going to go draw a card with the library, I guess. Or should I just animate and attack with I think I'm going to animate and attack with everything first. Why not? Okay, so change to assembly worker. Going to use the mountain because I want to get the green open. We're going to go into combat. Let's attack with everything. There we go. They have to block the thicket. This is brilliant. Let's deal 1-1. One, one. Doesn't really matter where you put the damage. As soon as they're assigned as blockers, you get the, the stunning effect, as they call it here. The stoning effect, not the stunning effect. Duh, the stoning effect. non wall creatures blocking or blocked by the basilisk or destroyed at the end of combat. Okay, well, have fun, guys. Oh, look at this. He's not even regenerating the drudge. That's ideal. Um... What should I do here? I could go Loa, but I can just wait with Loa. Because if I do it in my own turn, I have to discard a card, maybe. I don't want to do that. Oh, no! He is smart enough here to kill my, my factory. That's good. I could I mean, I could have played a Giant Grove to save it. Should I have done that? I don't know. I'd rather keep the Grove for another moment. What if he casts, for example, another Sarah? Okay, there's a toy soldier. End of turn. Let's draw an extra card. I do like his deck. I think I've said that before, but I do like his whole idea of, of Yoshin Soldier, Sari Angel, like creatures that don't have to attack, combine it with Pestilence and Castle. I think it's really cool. Um, let's go. Jambazar. Sound effects. I love that sound effect. Uh, ooh, I've got a trike I can play. So many options right now. Um, hmm. Stream of Light Trike, I often troll too, but often troll is not great with the Pestilence. Crawl Worm, yeah, I gotta play Crawl Worm. Uh, let's see, two, four, six, seven. So I could play Crawl Worm, keep my library untapped. Uh, don't auto tap this card. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm first is gonna attack with Cockatrice. <laughs> then I'm gonna play my Crow Worm. I'll play Giant Grove. My Crow Worm. Yeah, baby. Love it. Pass turn. And now, as soon as you're behind with life total, like Pestilence, just becomes a pretty bad card. It's so good when you're ahead or when your opponent has a lot of smaller creatures and you've got like a big 1-6 Yoshin. It will be probably be really good in the dungeon of Suchan. Probably. Oh, there's another Sarah. There's another Sarah. Okay, let's draw a card. Oh, wow. Um, can I just fireball him to death, which is boring, but maybe before I do that, let's just... Do a nice attack. I'd rather kill him with combat damage. Oh, so I could go double giant growth. There we go. Yay, the people rejoice. Well, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I knew it took a while, but... Trade white amulets for black. Thank you. Um, if you combine this Armageddon clock with Ali from Cairo, just let him go by as your opponent's life goes down and you don't go below one. That is that is true, actually. I'm gonna buy it. That is that's a good pitch. You got me, man. I bought the card. Um let's buy I'm really doubting if I should take this deck into the dungeon. I think I'm gonna go just with my mom. like the asps. Let's see how many asps I have. I want to just play as many as I can. But can I, oh, I can only play three, I think, right? Um, maybe I should play one or else. Uh, probably. I think I can keep. Let's take Barbary Apes out. Let's take the Lure out. Okay. Well, Sandstorm is actually quite good. Let's take War Mammoth. Two of these in. 
Berserk, remember? Remember, that's the card I want to really get. Berserk and crawl worm. That's the that's the thing we're gonna go for. Ooh, okay. Um, wow. Where to go? Where to go? Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack. Troll shaman. Okay. Wow, look at all those lands. That's the thing, you know, sometimes you don't go into any lands, and sometimes it's only lands. At least I've got two script sprites, so I can just go... I mean, this deck needs kind of lands. I can just go script sprite, another script sprite. I've got giant rose as well. Oh, I got an asp, so this is actually quite nice. Boom, another one. Let's attack. Oh, yeah, there we go. He's not playing anything out. This is ideal. Okay, let's go factory. Let's just attack everything. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam. Now he's got a pay with the Asp counter. Hey, there's a troll. Oi, oi, oi. Um, but he cannot regenerate. He can save a damage with the Oasis. However, I have the Giant Grove. So I'm just going to actually attack with everything. No! I want to tap the Desert for that. Oh, man, this is not great. Um, change to Assembly Worker because we don't want to take any damage. Done. Let's attack with everything. I'm just counting on him to block, actually, is what I'm counting on. Exactly. And then I'm going to play Giant Grove. Hey! Perfect. I love it when a plant's working. 
He's on six. For a moment there, I was scared of maybe, you know, by accident, I have a sandstorm. Okay. Um, let's see. What is handy to do? If I attack with everything, it's probably going to block factory and hit him for three. So that's not what I want to do. So I'm just going to attack with these two. Okay, this is going to be cool. This, pay attention, because I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to first change. Pay one. I'm going to block. Then I'm going to play Sandstorm. Then I'm going to damage the attacking creature, because remember, he's got Oasis. There we go, so he's going to prevent one damage, but if dealt a damage with the desert, a damage with a sandstorm, and then one damage from the factory, so that should kill him. Hey, there we go. A lot of effort to kill one uh, hill giant, but hey, you got it. another one, another hill giant. Um, let's go. Let's play this one. I'm going to attack with both here. Gonna cast Lanoer. Pass turn. Probably just gonna jump with the Asp. Yeah, exactly. And now we're just gonna finish it with the script rights. Hey, okay, that's good news. Some more life. Okay, let's uh, fight this one. The sorceress. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got forest thicket, forest force of nature. Okay, so we've got a really slower hand, which is annoying. We're ramping up with Lana. Where the problem is, I mean, force of nature is what six. Thicket's five, so. At least, at least she's not playing out anything, so that's good. Put you on nine. Oh, a bull lightning! Oh, <laughs> with the flame, it's seven. Oh man, oh this is a problem. Um, let's attack, then play Asp next turn. So let's go forest and go Asp. I mean, luckily for me, I've got that stream of life to kind of hopefully gain some life next turn. Maybe I should wait with the stream. Play Thicket first if he plays another bowl. Okay, there's Dwarven Warriors. Okay. Um, I'm just going to attack with the Asp. Let's see what he does. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Forest. I'm going to play Thicket. I think I want to use the stream of life like pretty late in the game when I have a lot of mana, but definitely before I cast Force of Nature. Oh, the Brutes! It's got regeneration. But not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, no fast effects. Okay, let's go Forest. I guess I gotta play Stream of Life now. Let's first attack with the Asp. Maybe you're wondering why not with the thicket? I want to keep the thicket to block for a potential bull lightning. Uh, let's do stream of life. Done. Yay, one point two. Yeah. I mean, he's got double iron star, so for each red spell he plays, potentially can gain two lives. So that's a bit of an issue. Um, the Brute is such a, it's just a bit, I wish, I wish the Brute is again a card, I feel like, just give the creature plus two plus O and maybe one red to regenerate, you know, it still would be a card that hardly sees play, but it's a little bit more useful. Um, okay, so what shall we do now? I can go Tranquility, kill the Brute in the Aura Flame, but is that really worth it? I'm going to attack with the Thicket. There we go, and then I'm going to play Force of Nature. 8-8 eight, eight, Trample, baby. Yeah, this Force, this Force will probably grant me the victory. 
And I'm, I'm back on 22 now, which is quite nice. Ooh, there's a well though. Yeah, my deck, my deck's not good with flyers. But it doesn't have to be because I've got this guy. Um, I think he has to probably block everything with this dude not to die. So I'm just gonna attack here. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. Am I gonna go left or right? That's 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 hard. Um, I'm gonna because here it opens up a bit more. Does it? Does it? No, it doesn't. Here it opens up these two. I'm gonna go here. Goblin Lord! <laughs> Definitely against the goblins. Um, do I want to take a mulligan? I've got a forest, a factory, an aspalure, two giant. I actually, well, I could keep this, start the duel. I mean, I do know I've got the forest that I can't play out, but I'm happy with this hand, you know? Starting with the asp, I can attack straight away. And I've got double giant growth, so I'm, I'm pretty good. Okay, there's a guard in yours. Factory, let's attack. Okay, is gonna block. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a giant growth on this. Maybe you're thinking why, but I mean look at my hand. I've got no more lands. Maybe I should have taken that mulligan. <laughs> But I really have, you know, I only have this one creature going for me and this factory, so I would just want to keep both of them around as long as I can. If I had a follow-up, oh, there we go. If I had a follow-up, maybe I wouldn't have, but... Uh, I'm just gonna... T if he wants to trade, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, let's do Giant Growth. I mean, effectively, two giant girls have taken out two of his creatures, which is not that bad. Thomas' weapon, okay. Hey, there's a forest. Let's take out one of his lands. Let's slow him down. I thought I took out the ice storms, by the way. Oh, or did I take out the strip mines? I don't know yet. Ooh, Giant Badger, yeah. Let's play Giant Badger. Okay, let's go forests and let's animate the factory finally. I really enjoy playing with the Asp. And I guess the Asp, I should play it together with Land Denial, right? Because then they can all play my counter. So I should just add the strip mines as well. Maybe take out the factories, put in the strip mines. Could be an idea. Or the deserts, put in the strip mines. That's probably better. Oh, we're gonna go, okay. Uh, I could just cast Lure on the Badger to kill the Goblin. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to offer the trade. What does Thomas' weapon redo again? Oh, then again it's plus one, plus one. I don't want that to happen. But I am actually going to kill it because I don't want to put the, uh, the weaponry on it. Let's go! Wow. I love how those asp counters kind of stay on you until you pay up, pay off for them. Um, okay, script sprites, that's something. Let's animate. Let's attack! And hopefully win the game. Oh, he stepped out, so I'm definitely going to win this one. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what we have. Oh, we have a treasure. I gotta answer this question correct though. I made I made a few mistakes already, like that I clicked too quick. So I gotta take my time. Okay, what is the toughness of the Goblin Blue Brigade? Well, that's a 1-1. One, one. Hey, there we go. Yay, so good, 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 good. But 
I want to get that Berserk. That Berserk is like the main thing I'm going to go for. Okay, I got an extra life. Hmm. I mean, do I think the treasure is somewhere here or do I think the treasure is somewhere there? That's, that's the question. You know what? I think I'm going to battle this one and try to get the dice and then see if it's here, I hope. If not, maybe I can go this way. I don't know. There's so many opponents. <laughs> oh, this this hand looks good. Forest, forest, lawn or elves, desert. Force of nature, stream of life, force. Actually, it's not that good, but I've got a turn one play. I'm going to lawn or and I've got that stream of life. So force is six. So probably be the turn before I hit six, I'm gonna have stream of life. Okay, sure. Sure, you help me out. That's fine. Let's attack. Let me know, by the way, in the comments how many lands you would play in this, this mono green deck that I'm playing at the moment. Oh, Meek Stone, that's, really, that's a really good card against me. I mean, that's just, that's just unfortunate. You know? It could be really good against other decks, but against this one, Meek Stone is not good. Let's do one or Elves, and I think next turn we're going to Stream of Life. And then play Force to turn out. Although Force with Meek Stone, then again, he's on eight, so. Let's go Forest, let's go Stream of Life, let's tap, let's tap. Done, boom. Ooh, he's thinking a long time. Or she, I should say. I'm playing the Sorceress, right? I love the art in the background, by the way. This one, the dragon, like, rah. It's pretty cool. Fits a fire-breathing theme. This was the Mirage art of fire-breathing, I believe. It's not really drawing into anything at the moment. Um, let's go Forest. Let's go Force of Nature. Let's attack, put him on seven, put her on seven. Uh, let's see, who am, who am I playing again? Oh yeah, the sorceress. Can pay for the force. As soon as I'm out of the dungeon of Suchan, I'm gonna save because this thinking is 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 it's risky. You know, I'm not happy about it. it. Could be a bad sign. Okay, pay upkeep cost. I'm just gonna attack with everything because he has to block, so he can't survive actually. Okay, there we go. Hey, got a Lana or Elves. That's great. Oh, I don't want to lose a Lana or Elves. Oh, this is always tough. Like, are you going to get the other dice? Which will probably replace the Elf. Or should I just walk somewhere else? Like, maybe this one? Or, oh, it's tough. It's tough. Okay, I'm going to walk around. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to battle you. Exactly. <laughs> Start the duel. Oh, this is great with Alonor here. Look at that. I've got Ice Storm to play, Scrip Sprites turn one, turn two, Ice Storm or Giant Badger. This is a really good hand. Um, actually, I can, yeah. Okay, so let's go Forest. Let's attack. Play Scrip Sprite second main. Because we're pros. Yes. Um, let's go factory, ice storm. You know, ice storm is like a 
time walk, right? Reverse time walk. It's so bad when you're early in the game. It really, like early in the game, land destruction is, is just really tough to deal with. It's such a good tempo play. I have to say, in regular old school, land destruction is also like very, very good because there's so many good lands in the game. Okay, here's a Goblin Gate. That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be super aggressive. I'm not even going to play the Giant Badger. I'm just going to attack with everything I have. And I'm assuming that he's going to block. And I'm just going to Giant Grove. Oh, he's not blocking. Okay, you're not blocking. I didn't expect this to happen. Okay, you're not blocking. Sure. Passing the turn. So I am going to take some damage here. Oh, man. That's big. That's why he's not blocking. You know what I'm going to do? Um, I want to keep this open. I want to keep this open. I'm just going to play at one Lana Elves. I'm going to animate this dude. I'm going to attack and I'm going to keep my script sprites on blocking duty. I've got the giant growth. I mean, if he plays another giant strength, which could be could be happening, I know. I think he plays four. Okay, he's not. Okay, that's good. Uh, choose blockers. Let's block. Done. Fast effects. Yes. We're gonna trade. It's a it's a two for two. He had the giant strength. I had the giant growth stuff. So. The polka band. The Polka Band. Um, you know what? I'm finally going to play a Giant Badger. Do I have enough mana to go? I've got to go Giant Badger, Asp, and attack with both of my elves, I think. Should I go? Should I? Let's go Giant Badger. The thing is, I really don't want to lose... Uh, Alana or else? Because I've got stream of life, so I want to gain some more life again. Uh, let's attack. There we go. He's on seven. I think next turn I'm going to play stream for five at least. We bring him up to 30. Oh, the weaponry. The weaponry gets plus one, plus one. Okay. We've seen that card before. Uh, it makes it a 2-2. Two -two. Can't, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Uh, one, two, there we go. Done. Back with the Asp. I, kind of, I didn't expect him to trade. I thought he wanted just to take the damage, then use Tons' weaponry, make it a 2 2. But hey, I don't know what's in his hand. He's got six cards, so. Oh, he's got another pull to land. He's got another polka band. Um, let's see. What is wisdom? I think it's probably wise to just attack with these creatures, play out Asp, and keep my factory on blocking duty. I'm going to go to, three. I'm going to, go to four. I'm going to play the Asp. I'm going to pass the turn. Very close. Ooh, the Goblin King. Uh, let's animate factory. Change to assembly worker. There we go. Just attack with everything. And then I think he's dead. Also tapped out, so I know he's dead. There we go. And more opponents. Hey, I got an asp. Let's attack him in the back. I think if I if I attack him in the back, I'll be in place first. That would be a nice feature in the game, but okay. Start to duel. What do I have? An asp on board, asp in hand, lure, force, 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 ice storm, sandstorm. This is I got ice storm sandstorm. That's funny. I never I never thought about those two in the same deck. Uh, let's go this. Let's go. Let's first attack. We'll play Asp second main. Does he want to trade? Oh, he doesn't. Okay, sure. 
I would have traded for sure because now you gotta pay for the, for the stupid counter or take the damage. It's like okay, it's got your stuff. Okay, fair enough. Um, do I want to block this? Oh man, no, I don't. Oh, this could this could turn into a serious problem. This. Oh, uh, I am gonna take another four. I'm gonna do it. I mean, it pains me, it really does, but I feel that these ASP counters can give me a victory. I mean, look at that, he's on five. Problem, of course, is life loss being carried over. Now I'm 22, I really don't want to go lower than that. Um, let's go desert, let's go ice store on one of his mountains. He's going to attack with one. And I'm gonna jump with the other. Am I? Yeah, I am. Oh, man, I just don't want to get too low. I don't want to lose too much life. I need to destroy another enemy after this. Oh, let's put my ass in front of the bus. I really don't want to. Uh, I also don't really have a good follow-up play. Like I'm gonna to go to four lands with. Only creature in my hand is Force of Nature, which is pretty bad at this moment. Yeah. Okay, Script Sprites is good. I like it. Um, I'm gonna pass. I can fly around with the Sprites, put them on two. If he attacks, I can kill the Jackal with the Sandstorm. Um, actually, I can kill the Alibaba now, which is pretty sweet. Okay, let's go this one. Let's see if I can already use the desert. Damage attacking creature. Okay, let's do that. Choose blockers. Put the Asp in front. Together with the damage from the Sandstorm and the Asp and the desert combined, he should die. Hey! Oh man, De I mean, Desert is so doing so much work. I actually played with Desert at a tournament yesterday, uh, the Camel Trophy, but I didn't use it at all. I played it a few times, but yeah, couldn't use it. But that's also because I play Timmy's, of course. I usually just shoot everything away with the Tims. Um, okay, let's go attack. Play the asp. Hmm, but this is going to be annoying. He's going to attack with both. If, if actually, I'm not sure if he attacks with both. Okay, he does. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the. I'm going to take. The, I'm going to go to 18. That's fine because I think oh. he can maybe win. Or he's probably going to play a creature right now. Whatever. Oh yes, of course. Oh, yes. At least it's not a flat creature. It could be worse. Um, oh, I can play the force. <laughs> I can play the force. You know what I'm gonna do? This may sound strange, but I'm not gonna attack because I think next, if whether he's on two or one, doesn't matter that much with force of nature. So, and I don't want to take any more damage. I'm Eighteen. I don't want to go low. Okay, he's gonna attack, choose blockers. Yeah, that's pretty easy. That's one brave Mons Goblin. Okay, let's, uh, let's attack. Let's attack, people. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Only three the damage alone, you're gonna die, exactly. But now I don't have any dice, I gotta battle this dude. Uh, this, this, this is the Berserk, right? This is the, this is the card I'm going for. Oh, uh, wish me luck, people, wish me luck. Flip that coin, play first. Hey man, it's gotta work, it's gotta work. Okay, factory, force of nature. It's so funny, you play with one force. It's in every, it's like Aladdin's ring, right? Every opening hand. Desert, script sprites, giant growth, forced, 
forest. Okay, so this hand could be worse for sure, but Scrib Sprites turn one, turn two, probably gonna go for factory so I can swing with it, in with it, turn uh, three. Oh, winds of change! Then the new hand. Oh, anyways. At least there's a lot of in here. Um, let's go forest. Let's first attack. Let's go Lanor Elf. Let's pass. Okay, um, I'm gonna play desert. It's gonna be pretty good against these elves. Um, you know what? I'm gonna attack with both. Let's see what he does. If he blocks, I've got my giant growth. Exactly. This is what I was hoping for. Let's go. Giant growth. I mean, Brassman is pretty good in this dungeon because of that aura flame, right? Because you got that bonus. I am not going to do this game of change. Oh, okay. Uh, damage attacking creature. Let's go. Let's go desert. Let's go switch fights. Let's attack. Hey, he's on eight. I really hope that that berserk is there. If if it's like a chest with gold or something, I would be disappointed because then I got to go all the way around to try to get it. But anyway, first I got to win this though. I'm on eight. He's on eight. I should say. This is a pretty big creature. Uh, well, it's not, but in in, in this scenario, uh, let's go script price. Let's fly over. Oh, he's gonna attack. That is funny. Um, damage to attacking creature. Damage to attacking creature. The deserts are doing work. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it because oh, this is probably my last battle right now. So it doesn't matter. I can lose some life here in this match. Alibaba. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's just go sprites. Sprites and Lanora I can do. Let's see if he wants, oh, he wants to trade, okay. To be honest, I didn't expect that. I thought he would probably just take the one. Okay, he's on six. She just played lure on here, right? They cannot kill him anyway, so. Just when you have a lure lure in a thicket on the battlefield, you have to make that combo, right? It's so old school. You have to go. Okay, putting him on two. Attack again. I mean, it's a very slow move, but you know, every turn I'm getting closer to winning. Display the lawn over. Last turn. Let's attack. Hey, we're winning. Okay, so let's hope. Oh, I got to force him. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's hope that this is the Berserk. Three, two, one, go! Yay, Berserk! Oh, sweet!
I'm so happy with my buzzer. This is amazing. This is what I want. Now the question is, is there more in this dungeon? I don't think so. Maybe a chest of gold and jewels, right? That's something sometimes in these dungeons as well. Um, I got a force of nature that I really want to use. I think I'm going to attack her. Purely because I just want to start with the force. I understand the force is going to hit me for eight. Uh, but I want to do it. I don't care. A desert. Okay, I can lose the desert. Oh, this is so funny. I can't pay anyway, so don't pay. Oh, I'm on five. Oh, this is so... I can't win, actually. Duh. Because I take damage. If I, I forgot you already take damage your first turn. I could have won if I if I would have a giant growth would have had a giant growth in my hand I could have made 11 11 win it but unfortunately for me I want to pay the cost oh no I'm dead oh, I'm kicked out of the dungeon okay let's go here uh, let's have to check it out yay it's gone from the list I sold, I guess I sold it, right? I took out all the loot. Anyway, uh, this was it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day. It's a beautiful day out, so I'm gonna go outside, enjoy the weather. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great Sunday. See you guys later. Zeke!